Hello again. Another very common request I receive is to move rows of data from one sheet to another based on some trigger event, usually a drop down menu or a checkbox. Today, just using the checkbox method, it's the simplest but can be easily used in the drop down menu option as well. So in this case, I have dates, I have task numbers, and then a simple task complete checkbox. So all I want to have happen is when I click this checkbox, I want the entire row to move to a new line on the complete sheet. Here's the code to get it done. So I want to declare first, it is an on edit trigger. So just like the other ones we've used, this is a simple trigger. It doesn't need any authorizations to run. Um, and it just automatically tells the Google Sheet to run this script whenever an edit is made. Because it runs whenever an edit is made, we need to put some constraints in place. So I declared the source sheet where the edit was made, and I declared the range where that edit was made. Then I can put this if statement in place to make sure it only runs when we want it to. In this case, only run on this new sheet, only run on column three, and don't run on row one. Obviously, if we change this, cell, I don't want it to run. I only want it to run on the checkboxes themselves. So if any of those conditions are not met, return just has it quit the entire script. Then we find the destination sheet, the complete sheet, and it's actually a very simple single line to move the data over. So get the range, and get range is in the format the row number, the column number, the number of rows, and then the number of columns. In this case, it is the row where the edit was made, column one, one row, and three columns. And we're going to move that to the destination. And the range we're getting at the destination is the last row plus one, because I don't want to override what's currently in the last row. We want a new row. And same as the other, column one, one row, three columns. After it makes the move, simply delete the row on the source sheet with the row index where the edit was made. And we can see that working very well. We click, and it moves the entire row over. 